Right, can you say hello? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> you got baby girl wow you've stung <laughs> can you please <laughs> <laughs> um alba <laughs> what have you got there what have you got that's the blue and barbie's <laughs> <too>. <laughs> I'm, I'm barry so i'm gonna go hard and play that for very long are you princess I want her head off mm. wow you are something else baby girl I found it it was mine to be fair I don't, I don't even know how long that's been down there it's obviously fallen out the bag and she's found it was it under the radiator Albert Albert yeah it was Albert princess I'm sorry but I'm gonna have to take it off of her we can just keep an eye on her for now. Cute. Hello. Slightly different angle. Yeah, because we need our handy pegs. Well, Charlie needs her handy pegs. <laughs> yeah. Um. My sister messaged Soph to say that something was arriving for my birthday, and it had to be opened today. Because of it being like perishable um, and fridge related, yeah, it's arrived and it's bloody heavy. It's heavy. Cornish hampers, so on. Um, and the box is really pretty. As it well. is. So if you can just one of the things they um the website. So I wanted to see if they were in Launceston, but I couldn't work it out apart from what it said on the box but they said um they were like describing their packaging especially for them kind of thing so cool. for the bits i was just turning the camera then so i've turned and said that she looked at the website and what was it about the packaging basically that they were describing all of the like the pieces of it so like the fact that you've got like one of their hampers on the front and like uh. where they are and things like boom Ooh. scones massive scones i wondered what that powdered stuff was just a minute ago Happy 30th birthday. Have a good day. Lots of love. Stuff and Zach. Which is my sister and our nephew. Cream and scones are their best when eaten straight away. Best before the 13th of Feb. Awesome. Tea. Smuggler's brew tea. All of the things that are included in all of their hampers are, are sourced from Cornwall. Awesome. Everything. Cottage cream shortbread. Very. Furnace is one of the only bakeries in Britain that recreates that fresh bake at home biscuit using quality ingredients and organic recipes. I'm pretty sure other companies have said that as well. But they can get away with it anyway because they say one of the only. Yeah. At least I think they did. Oh, that looks cute. Can you tap the screen? 
strawberry conserve. Sounds fun. Very high fruit content. Strawberry sugar and lemon juice. That's a bit random. Mm. Cool. Prosecco. Yeah. <laughs> Soph and I have a thing that whenever we get a bottle of a cork, we keep it. And it's like a tradition As to in put. The cork, not the bottle. Yeah. It's a tradition to put 20p in the cork for good luck and things. Cool. Oh. One each. Very nice. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> that's adorable. Yeah, cottage cream. Oh, there's one other thing. Oh, two other things. Brownie. Yum. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's so cool. It's packaged so nicely as well. Yeah, that's such a cool gift. It is. She's really thought about it and it's really nice. It's really nice as well because before we got married we used to go and have cream cheese, didn't we? Yeah. Um, to the extent that on our actual wedding day, on our actual wedding day, we went and had um, like a... It, we, we, we booked a cream tea, didn't we? It was at a but they, cafe that we used to have like... Um, dinner dates on a Friday. Yeah, but yeah, we booked a cream tea, but they made it more like a, like a proper afternoon tea, and they bought sandwiches and things, didn't they? It was they so lovely. like put a thing on the table, and literally they made it proper. Like when you pay for a really expensive mm. cream tea, it they had so done that. It was so special. They had done a really good job. It, yeah, it was quite a shock when we rocked mm. up, and yeah, it was just it was really lovely. Yeah, it was. But um, yeah, so. Scones and things like that are very near and dear to our heart. Yes. Yep. Beautiful. Time to eat. <laughs> Bye. Yum, yum. Scones. The proper way. Spread the jam. Drop the clot. It cream. Oh, shit. That sounded awful. My bad. <laughs> Just going to swiftly leave that there. Dixie. Yeah, mum. Last one, okay? Dixie, last one. Thanks, Mum. Girl. Alba. They're getting treats because Dixie pooed and she couldn't celebrate one. it. <laughs> she was so happy, wasn't she? <laughs> she was so happy. She was bounding and jumping and barking and all because she pooed. Oh, crumbs. That was pretty good. Got yeah. a bit in my ear. Oh. Yeah. Gorgeous. Well, that just happened. She insisted on bringing up the ball. She put it there initially and then just jumped up as I got the camera. Yeah, thanks, Mum. I'm good with that. Yeah. And she's dead down. Huh. That was adorable. It was. But very random. Yeah. Yeah. So, we've all but nearly demolished the hamper, but I say that we haven't. We've had the scones and the brownie, but we had one scone at lunchtime and one scone and the brownie this evening. Um, for those that don't know, I've got gastroparesis. And things like this, and bread and anything else, is actually really hard to eat. Um, but it's something that I enjoy, Soph enjoys. And it's a, it's an awesome present for my sister and our nephew. So, yeah. We're going to eat the biscuits tonight, hopefully. And then we're going to save the Prosecco maybe for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I gastroparesis means that you need to spread food out a little bit more because it hurts and my stomach is telling me that it's not happy right now it is making some awful noises where it's struggling to push it through um because with the gastroparesis it's something called failure of peristalsis and the peristalsis side of things is basically the muscle movements of your bowels and the digestive system which pushes your food through um your mind struggling <laughs> to put it like plainly um and also i had a bit of a thought earlier whilst we were watching tv about the whole lip situation 
Do, 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 do. Did you want to just quickly turn the camera around then? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I got a nice close up for you. <laughs> Yum. I said you like your close ups. <laughs> I got, there we go. Like I can't turn it around for some reason. And it occurred to me, this little thing that's coming up in the corner reminds me of a little bit of when I used to look after kids within Bataigo. So I just did some research, looked at some pictures, looked at what can cause it, and things that can cause it. Low immune system. And eczema, which my eczema's flaring at the moment. And... A bug called Staphylococcus aureus, which is what my lungs are flaring up with. So the chances are this whole situation is in Batigo. And when I said this, Soph, Soph was like, is it contagious? And I was like, yes, it's highly contagious. And the reason why she asks is her lips are not doing too good. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, she's not really... All that happy, are you, babe? I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> um. Thankfully, the treatment is the antibugs that I'm on. But obviously, like we said yesterday, it is only one, do one week worth of dose. So if it's trying to fight my chest infection and in Batigo, it's really going to struggle. And I'm probably going to need that second week. So we're just going to have to see how we go and hope and pray that one week of antibugs is going to do the trick. It's just typical that all this is happening around my birthday. Fun! Hopefully, if I have got Impetigo as well, hopefully mine won't stick around with me not having any antibugs. No. Especially seeing as if flu clocks is the one that does it, I can't have it. No, because she's allergic to penicillin. <laughs> Fun. Yay! <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just gonna chill now. It's nearly bedtime. I need to try and get hold of mobility to sort our car out. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and sort all this. So thanks for coming on, Miss Davis. Join me tomorrow for my thirtieth birthday. Good night, everyone. Leaving one decade and entering another. You left me hanging there, babe. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <laughs>